Hello, this is Ayang Bella Kim and you're watching Miss Explained. In our last video about the mechanism of penicillin, we got up to how penicillin was ineffective to gram-negative bacteria. Well, today we're going to talk about how penicillin was manufactured and purified to the antibiotics form we know today from its raw natural state and how penicillin impacted World War II. But first, let's look into its trial and purification stages. When penicillin was brought to the world by the hands of Alexander Fleming, an Australian scientist Howard Florey and his co-worker Ernest Chain researched the antibacterial properties of penicillin in Oxford University after being fascinated by Alexander Fleming's research and discoveries regarding the matter at hand. At that time, extracting, concentrating, and purifying the penicillin liquid, the juice, from the mold was a struggle, and the method Chain chose was to freeze and dry the product for multiple times. But this process was indeed complex and time-consuming. Moving on to the relationship between penicillin and World War II, insofar as we see now, penicillin is being extracted and purified at an awfully slow rate. But World War II is occurring real time, and the demand for penicillin was huge. U.S. scientists and military strategists knew, from their recent experience of Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor, that World War II would require immense amounts of penicillin, since one of the main reasons for death in war was infection, and penicillin was effective in combating them. It was during this time when biochemist Norman Heatley devised a method to extract large amounts of penicillin and purify it by changing its pH. With this new discovery, a transaction happened between Flory, one of the aforementioned original purifiers of penicillin, and Heatley, and the Americans, more specifically the U.S. companies. Flory and Heatley would show U.S. companies how to produce penicillin, and U.S. companies would then supply Flory with a portion of the manufactured drug. Penicillin, in conclusion, saved around 80,000 to 200 men in World War II alone, and that is how penicillin made its way into pharmacies we see today. Alright folks, that's the end of our penicillin lecture, and in our next video, we will be back with an exciting ethical debate about the development of antibiotics.